Chaitanya, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I'm going to show you how to configure AWS WAF to protect your resources from common attacks. Let's get started. Migrate from AWS WAF Classic to AWS WAF if applicable. There are two versions of AWS WAF available, AWS WAF Classic and AWS WAF. If you are still using prior version, that is AWS WAF Classic, then it's a best practice to migrate to AWS WAF. To perform this migration, you can leverage the automated migration tool. To find out more, view Migrating a Web ACL Automated Migration Documentation linked in the Associated Knowledge Center article. Run penetration testing against your application to identify vulnerabilities. To understand an application-specific vulnerabilities and to customize your firewall rules based on it, it's a best practice to carry out penetration testing against your application. Review incoming requests to optimize your custom rules. Before creating custom rules to protect your application, review the incoming request in your environment to identify attack patterns. You can generate logs for AWS WAF, Amazon CloudFront, Application Load Balancer, and Amazon API Gateway, and then store them on Amazon Simple Storage Service. Finally, use Amazon Athena to query the logs and identify patterns. If you know every supported URI for your application, you can find the request made to your environment for the URIs that don't exist from this result. This query gives the total requests for each URI. After running this query, you can see that for URI forward slash there are 901 requests. This Athena query counts requests with different host header values. Here in the output, we can see that there were 387 requests with this host header. After identifying a pattern, you can create AWS FAF rules in count mode to verify that the rule is configured to match those requests. Then move the rule to block mode. Create a not match on the host header with value www.example.com. Set the action to block. Then any request to your environment that don't have a host header of www.example.com are now blocked. Use AWS Managed Rule Groups to protect against common attacks. Use AWS Managed Rule Groups to prevent common attacks that apply to most applications, including requests that don't contain a user agent, represent bot requests, use localhost as the HTTP host header, use the prop find HTTP method. At first, include these baseline rule groups in your web access control list in count mode. You do this to check if the rules in the rule group match a legitimate request and might then block the request when configuring the rule group to block mode. Let's enable a rule group in count mode. Open the AWS WAF console. Select your webacle. Choose the Rules tab. Select the AMR rule group that's preventing your legitimate requests. For this demonstration, I'll select AWS Managed Rules Common Rule Set. Choose Edit. In Rules, select Set All Rule Actions to Count. Choose Save Rule. Now, Review the AWS WAF logs and Amazon CloudWatch metrics to determine whether the managed rule group matches any legitimate traffic for some time. If it doesn't, move the rule group to block by disabling enable count mode. You can also set a specific rule in a rule group in count mode. For example, no user agent header and keep the rule group in block mode by setting the rule action of the rule as count. Use your baseline AWS WAF using the rate of legitimate requests. Perform an analysis of your traffic to identify the number of requests 
made by legitimate client IP addresses using Amazon Athena or QuickSight on AWS WAF logs. Using the information you get from this analysis, baseline your AWS WAF to the rate of request made by a legitimate client. Then configure the AWS WAF rate-based rule to ensure that if the rate of request from an IP address is greater than a set threshold, then requests from this IP get temporarily blocked. Here's an Athena query performed on AWS WAF logs to count the number of requests from a single IP address between a given timestamp. You can see from the output that the total number of requests made from this IP is 11 and the country is GB. This is an Athena query performed on AWS WAF logs to count the number of requests from all IP addresses between the same time frame. You can see from the output that the total number of requests made from the first IP address is 11, second IP address is 18, and third is 10. Use the AWS WAF security automations template to prevent common attacks. AWS WAF Security Automation Solution deploys a set of AWS WAF rules. Use the solution to provide additional protection from common attacks. For example, you can enable protection against scanner and probes, bad bots, bad IP addresses. Note, the solution uses other AWS services that incur costs. Protect against SQL injection and cross-site scripting. To protect your applications against SQL injection and cross-site scripting or XSS attacks, use the built-in SQL injection and cross-site scripting engines. Note that attacks can be performed on different parts of the HTTP request, such as the HTTP header, query string, or URI. So, configure the AWS WAF rules to inspect different parts of HTTP request against the built-in mitigation engines. Restrict access from CloudFront if you're using AWS WAF on CloudFront. To make sure that the requests do not hit your application directly by bypassing CloudFront and WAF, you can use either of these two strategies. Restrict access to CloudFront IP addresses. Add a custom header in CloudFront for origin requests. On the origin, allow access only if custom header and value are present. If the origin is an application load balancer or API gateway, then use AWS WAF on the origin to allow requests that contain custom header and value. Protect against DDoS attacks. For protection from distributed denial of service DDoS attacks, see AWS best practices for DDoS resiliency and AWS Shield Features documentation pages, both linked in the Associated Knowledge Center article. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.